SAP Ariba's supplier lifecycle and performance management allows companies to add structure to the onboarding process of suppliers and management of those suppliers thereafter. Users can submit a new supplier request within the system. A questionnaire is then presented with only the information that needs to be captured at this point. This allows Ariba to do a check early on in the process for duplicates and advise against or prevent the creation of that new supplier. Following the submission of this new supplier request, an approval path will be triggered and the correct team will decide if we should begin engaging with the supplier or not. If the approval is successful, the supplier can be invited to the registration process where we will ask them to validate the information we provided internally and potentially gather more. This could be the acceptance to terms and conditions that we may have as a company or additional data fields that could eventually flow into the ERP data fields themselves. Registration is typically fairly generic, but this is followed by a process of qualifying suppliers. Suppliers can be qualified by category, region or business unit. This allows companies to build up a matrix of information. Should a supplier find themselves qualified to supply the company, they may eventually end up being on the preferred supplier list. The preferred suppliers list in SLP is directly used by other modules within Ariba, such as sourcing to automatically invite preferred suppliers to an event or guided buying to suggest suppliers to an end user in the absence of another supplier, driving as much spend towards preferred suppliers as possible and also ensuring compliance.